God has smiled on me. God has smiled on me. God is good to me. Today is my grandmother's birthday, and if she was living, she'd be 92 today. She passed uh, May 28th, 2021. Um, so many things that contributed to it, and I realized that today I <clears throat> am still like dealing with that, but I'm choosing to release it today. Um, all that hurts me, makes me sad, that makes my tears drop. Because even though she's gone, I don't wish she was here. Because if she was here, she'd still be suffering. Um, she'd still be going through things that contributed to a not so good exit from this earth, this life. And I don't want to hold anything that's hurtful in my heart. So I am grandma going to be rating um, plays, a three, 10 minute play series surrounding issues dealing with elderly abuse, family and Alzheimer's and dementia, and family love, and um, those true meanings and what they really mean. I love you, Grandma, and I know you're with me. You're sitting right here with me. You're the one told me to speak and share. When you have things that hurt you, um, it's easy to stay stuck in that and it's easy to allow it to turn darkness or that pain into darkness that turns into like tar light and it just sits there and it just spreads and you become sick and you don't even realize where's it coming from. It's coming from all that anger, resentment, you know, um, frustration and all of those things that, you know, causes us to be discomfort, uncomfortable, excuse me, not discomfort but uncomfortable within our own hearts and stuff. So um, through my tears and through my pain, but the pain is how our elderly are being treated. It is how we don't, we fail to try to understand when a loved one is dealing with or has Alzheimer's or dementia. And a lot of us, we pull back, we withdraw because we don't know how to deal with it. It's like how people deal with their own life shit. Instead of dealing with your life, you withdraw. And you find the most comfortable spot or the most comfortable rock to fucking sit on. Right? But we don't do anything about it. You have to embrace your loved ones. When they get older, no matter what, you have to be there for them. Because before any kind of bullshit went down, they were there for you. Right? So it's only cool to give back. And I'm talking about families within families. I'm not talking about outsiders. I'm talking about families. You need to be there and love them. And another thing that gets me is that toward my grandma's end, you know, well, once she transitioned out, you know, everybody want to be sad and everything, but honey, I'm sorry. I recall that all the time she was here, how many times did she see you? So you people who are are, 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 are saying you can't see your people or you're not going to see your people for whatever reason, don't cry when they go. And I'm not saying don't cry because you're sad, but don't cry because, oh my God, they're here. I wish they was here. I wish they was here. When they was here, did you spend time? And I'm not talking about people who are restricted. I know there's family members that are in uh, nursing homes and, and different types of spaces in which, you know, the government has made it where, oh, have people fearing. So they keep you divided from your loved one from fear. So you can't go see them. But those of you who can go see, you should. Because when that moment comes, when it's their end date to exit here, make sure that you have peace and all that happened with them, that you experienced with them while they were here. And not be so sorrowful because you didn't take that time that you could have made. I dealt with so much with my grandmother, well, with my family. Uh, my grandmother was, her caregiver, <clears throat> was someone who and her husband were amongst the abuse that I dealt with. But I put that to the side because I needed to be with her. And whenever it got tough for me, I would retreat so that I can find that strength, stand on that light and walk in that light. And then I went back. 
and I made sure that her last days that she knew that she was loved, she was cared for, regardless of what she did not experience when I was not there. And I'm not saying that it was all bad, but honey, it could have been a whole lot better. But however, I have peace that she's gone. The thing I have to make peace with is how people treat their loved ones when they're elderly and when they have all time as a dementia. How they don't go see them and spend time with them. I've watched my grandmother be mocked and teased and talked about. She didn't even know what they were saying about her. She was even called a freak by one of her great grandsons because that's how they interpret the dementia. Those who say she's in uh, her mind, she ain't in her mind. No, she's in her mind. It's just different the way that she expresses it or don't express it. But instead of trying to understand the newness or the new them or the returning them or whatever it is, we go with the negative aspect of how we deal with our loved ones. They become abused, neglected, because you can't deal with it. You're frustrated. You don't have the patience. You don't have the understanding. So they get crapped on. And if your family member is in a home where this is happening and that's all that's happening and you're not doing anything, even if you're just coming to give them a different side of what they experience because they have to experience because that's where they live and it's part of their karma and there's nothing you can do about it, you can go show love. You can give them a different side of the coin. Well, I wanted to make sure that I made a video, but I didn't want it to point fingers. I didn't want to judge anyone. I didn't want it to be a, a venting type thing. I wanted to really just speak on how I feel about my grandmother. And because I know that we communicate in spirit, I'm good. Yet I still find tears in how she left. And so I'm working on that. And as I work on it, I will share, but I will share through my writings. And hopefully you all will be amongst the audience, right? so that you can bring awareness to yourself or your family or your friends who have loved ones who are over 60, who are dealing with Alzheimer's and dementia, how to love them, how to be patient with them, to make sure you show up so they can remember love when they can't remember nothing else. Happy 92nd birthday, Grandma. I love you. You know that. We are we, and we are one.